Hi, we're here at Taikomi's water filtration system, and I want to explain to you how this process works. So I'm here with Miguelito. He's a water committee member of Taikomi, and the water first flows from the capturing point into this pre-filter, and this pre-filter is loaded with one centimeter rock. And so this is the first filtration, and normally this cuts the bacteria in about half, right? And then the water will flow to our slow sand filters, which are um, removing up to 99.99% of the bacteria from the water. We're arriving at U.S. standards uh, levels of, of, water, uh, of water quality here. And we're piloting these geomembrane tanks and um, they're made of this, of this fabric, right, geomembrane, and, and they're portable, and we were able to get them to, to, to Taikomi in our boat, and it saved two and a half months of work building concrete tanks. So after the water passes through this uh, slow sand filtration system, it goes to an 18,000 uh, 18, liter reservoir tank. And this is called the bladder tank. And really, we're partnering um, the piloting of these tanks with our U.S. environmental engineer, Humphrey Blackburn of Blackburn & Associates, and Seattle TARP. We want to see how these tanks, um, what the sustainability of these tanks are over the long term. What is the gift of slow sand filtration? It's right here. You can drink the water, and uh, it's pure. Right. Miguelito. Yeah. And, uh, you know, what we've done too is we train Miguelito. He's uh, 21 years old, no? Tienes 21 años. Sí, sí. Yo tengo 21 años. And uh, he's a bright light in the community. And he has volunteer. Tú tienes volunteer de crecer, sí, sí. para aprender y para para, how do you say, ayudar tu comunidad. Sí, yo estoy ayudando también a nuestra mi comunidad. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuántos hijos tienes? Yo tengo cuatro. Cuatro. He has four children right now. Yeah, and um, he's learning and uh, he's developing and that's what it's all about. That sustainability lives within the hearts of the people. But I wanted to show you as well what the people did is they built this corral around the filtration tanks to protect them because obviously, you know, any kind of a, a lancing of these tanks are going to deflate the tanks. And uh, so we used natural resources from the forest. They built a, uh, a native roof. They cut wood from the forest and built their corral. And what we've done is we've made this system in harmony with their environment. This is how clean water flows. Thanks for following and there will be more to come. Bye for now.